Hello guys, Igor here doing one more episode. Today analyzing Excel Bay, a tool that claims to run productive brainstorms and streamline projects management on one platform. Excel Bay gives you the tools to run more productive meetings and lets you track the resulting tasks and projects on a customizable dashboard. It's an alternative to Asana, Trello, Miro, and Group Map. The idea here is to help you to brainstorm your ideas and convert those ideas on a project management process to help you with your meetings. And then you can organize the ideas while you are creating your meetings and convert automatically those ideas to a project management process. The deal here is pretty simple to understand. Everybody gets the business plan and if you buy more codes, you get more projects. The best deal here is the license tier three, where, where you have unlimited everything, unlimited members and unlimited projects. I'm gonna show you how the tool works. So here is Excel Bay. On the profile, you can see that you can change the language to English, French, or Arabian. And you can see that the tabs is divided by workshop, boards, and documents. Let's start with a new workshop. Let's say you can create a, you want to create a new workshop. So you click here on the right and you add your workshop name. You can divide the workshop to private. So parts will need to sign in or it can be a public workshop. No bar will need to sign in. You can add the beginning, uh, the beginner, uh, the start date of that workshop and the end date. Let's do like that. You can also add the time, the start and the end time of the workshop, but you, you are not uh, obligated to do that. So here I have a new workshop. You can click here to have access to it. And on the workshop, you can start the activities and invite members to your workshop. Remember, if it's a public workshop, anyone with the link can join and no sign up will be required. You can have more than one facilitator per workshop. And if you get the tier three, you, are, you have unlimited participants. So new activity. To start a new activity, you can choose between many templates that they have. You have a business model, canvas, SWOT analysis, retrospective, reverse brainstorming, objectives and key results, user persona, etc. So let's say you want to create a business model Canva. Click here, choose the template on the workshop and your Canva here is ready and you can add everything on your Canva. Key partners, cost structure, key resource, key activities. You click here and then on add and it will show up here as a stick note. And Anytime you can start a brainstorm and people can add the stick notes in any topics. So you can see that's pretty beautiful how the Canva looks like. People can vote on the stick notes. Okay. And you can also add text on the workshop. Text will appear here on the right. Just click here, new task, show up like that. A pretty good educational tool and pretty good to work with students when you have unlimited members. I like the user interface. You can change the colors and you can also duplicate a project that you have. On an workshop, you can have different boards. Let's see another model that here, my first workshop. You can see that we have a brainstorming here. That one is different. What should you keep on doing to achieve your goal? What are you doing that is slowing you down? What new step can you take to achieve your goal? Click here to add cards. Go, need to show up like that. Oh, and then people can keep going adding the stick notes and also voting on them and selecting next steps to go. I see that too with uh, having great potential for students as well. So let's see a board. You can create boards outside the workshop so it will not have like that, that main main dashboard before you see a board, you'll go direct to a board. So that's a list board to do in progress and done. And just add here, example one, two more, and you can move it in progress, etc. On a list board, for, for example, you can change from list to Kanban, clicking here and see uh, also the status, your analytics. 
to create a new board, click here and then select one of the many templates. So for instance, that objective key results tracking, use this template, blah, blah, blah. And you can see here that I have a new project, like an objective key result tracking. You can see as a Kanban as well, and also the analytics. You can also create documents. You can change the nature of that document, if it's a report, presentation, or out other, and you can add your files here. Just create a document here, and people can download it. You can create on settings. You can change the name of the project, product, the description, start and end dates. And if you want to create a new project where you create workshops and boards, just click here and click here to add a new project. You add the name, and then you select the members. Remember, if you buy the tier three, you get all the features. Overall, I think it, it's pretty simple to use. I like the idea that you can have workshops and boards that people don't need to sign in. They can just click on the link and start to brainstorm ideas. So it's pretty simple. And the limits are also really good. That this one has a great potential rotation as an educational resource since you can work with students to create canvas and to brainstorm ideas, making education something that are interactive and not only passive. I hope you liked that review. Thank you so much. The link is on the description. So in the description, take a look at it. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.